let's finish the question in this video so recall that in the last part we stopped at the fact that we're looking for the power if the true mean is actually 52 grams so if we go to our last distribution that we just drew over here we saw that this would be the rejection region assuming that the mean of the population is 50 but now that we have this new information that the actual mean of the population is 52 so the mean of the population would be let's say somewhere over here this would be 52 slightly to the right of 51.96 and if we draw a normal distribution around that value so I'll try to be I'll try to be accurate a normal distribution around that value that would look probably something like that so let's assume this is a normal distribution around the value of 52 now what is the power in this case recall this is the probability of finding a value in the rejection region which is less than 48.04 so the mean that we want to find out of the sample must be less than 48.04 under the condition so given that the actual mean of the population is 52 and besides that we also need the probability of having the sample mean greater than 51.96 because the, uh, that's the other part of the rejection region it's over here so greater than or equal to 51.96 given that the mean of the population is actually 52 grams now graphically how does that look like now well we are looking for the probability of having a value less than 48.04 given that the mean is 52 so we're working with the blue distribution meaning we want to know the area to the left of 48.04 below the blue distribution so we want to know this tail we're looking for this probability over here and at the same time we are looking for the value which is greater than 51.96 given that the distribution is this blue line so we're looking for the area we're looking for the area which is going to be which is going to be yeah which is going to be this one this one 51.96 sorry 51.96 was over here so 51.96 was over here and the area below the blue line is going to be all this shaded area over here so this will be the area that we're looking for to reject the other uh, so, so to reject the null hypothesis now let's work out the math because this all sounds good on the graph but how does the math work out we're looking for probabilities recall that for probabilities we need to standardize values so we're going to standardize the values that we have from x into z meaning that we want to find out the probability of having a z value let's say from here less than or equal to and how do we standardize we take the difference between the sample mean 48.04 minus the population mean of 52 relative to the standard error which is equal to the standard deviation of 6 divided by square root of n divided by square root of 36 and at the same time we also need the following probability which will be the probability of z being greater than or equal to so we're standardizing the following sample mean which is the difference of the sample mean 51.96 minus the mean of the population of 52 relative to the same standard error which is 6 divided by square root of 36 now if you work out the math over here we would find out that we're looking for the probability of we're looking for the probability of z being less than or equal to minus 3.96 plus the probability of z being greater than or equal to uh, greater than or equal to minus 0 0.04 now if we look in the table of the z distribution we would find out that minus 3.96 is really far in the table so we don't even have an actual probability for it meaning that it's pretty much zero and over here this is a probability to the right of the z value and we know that the table of with the z distribution gives probabilities to the to the left of that specific value so this is the same as the probability of z being less than or equal to 0 0.04 it's just another way of looking at it now this probability we can find out in the z distribution it is equal to it is equal to 0 0.512 and since this is almost zero let's consider it zero because it's not going to change the result much 
the probability is equal to 0.512 and recall that what we were looking for was the power the probability that we were talking about is the power so this is the power of rejecting the power of rejecting the null hypothesis given that the actual mean of the population is 52 grams and now 0.512 that's equal to 51.2 percent let's see if that makes sense on our graph because it's good to always associate the two the numbers and the graph now if you look on our graph we can see that we can see that this is going to be our rejection region this is going to be our area of interest well if we would standardize this one into the z distribution if we would consider this now the z distribution so let me just write with a different color let's assume this would be the z distribution well we know that the area below the line below the curve of the z distribution is going to be one in total and we shaded pretty much more than half so slightly more than half meaning that intuitively and graphically it looks like yeah it's a bit more than half and our answer proves it the same way it's 51.2 percent so that also makes sense on our graph and if we have a look at the answer key from the question we can see that their answer is 0 0.48 which is not true so the answer is false hope this makes sense and we are done